Now, your Super Doppler 10 forecast from meteorologist Jeremy Wheeler. ODU versus Tech. We got the uh, game today. It should be pretty good weather. We got lots of sunshine out there, lots of clear skies during halftime. Temperatures falling from the 80s to the upper 70s. So we're looking good. And it's looking good for the Tides game tonight. Uh, we got the uh, first pitch. Madison will be out there throwing it, so we'll see how that goes. East Northeast wins five to ten. I'm very confident she'll do just fine. Uh, we got good weather for all the sports activities this evening and tomorrow as well. So high pressure is in the region. It's building in. We got a front that's uh, driving to the south, but it's falling apart, and so it's just going to reinforce the mild dry air that's in place right now. And the temperatures over the weekend going to stay steady. I mean, we'll be in the uh, mid to upper 80s today, mid 80s tomorrow, 84 Sunday. We start dropping the temps Monday into Tuesday because the clouds will increase. And Tuesday, we might even have quite a bit of rain now. Uh, that's kind of changed over the last 24 hours. And the humidity, that'll hold steady. Uh, the dew points will be between 60 and 65 between now and Sunday and Monday as well. Actually, Monday, I believe they'll go up a little bit more. They'll go up to about 68, so they'll start increasing. Super Doppler 10 radar is quiet right now. We don't have any rain over land, a couple of showers east of Hatteras, but they are offshore. So lots of sunshine for today. The weather forecast is looking good. We'll have light winds turning out of the northeast and east through the day, 5 to 10 miles an hour. Model keeps wanting to put in some showers. We're just too dry for that to happen, so I'm going mostly sunny. I'm not calling for any rain. I think we're going to be doing just fine through the day going into the evening. Overnight, we've got clear skies, light winds, and then tomorrow we'll have a lot of sunshine again. And we're looking good through the day. Models trying to throw in a shower. I am discounting both days. Now today, 86 in Virginia Beach, 87 in Norfolk, and 87 in Portsmouth, 89 in Chesapeake, a couple of 90s out towards Hertford and Franklin. Lots of sunshine. We're warm and dry. Again, winds out of the east northeast, 5 to 10. Mid 80s on the eastern shore around Hampton, Pocosin, and Gloucester. And then you got upper 80s around Newport News and Smithfield. But low 90s in Williamsburg. Uh, we're warm, we're dry. Winds out of the east northeast. In the beach forecast, you got waves one to two feet and a low threat for rip currents, water temps upper 70s. And for boaters that want to go out and have some fun on the water, you got east northeast winds five to 10, seas one to two feet, and the bay is one foot. All right, so now there's a lot to talk about in the tropics. Let's get to it. So here's Tropical Storm Danielle. The winds came up 70 miles an hour. It's forecast to become a hurricane later today and maybe even a category two for a bit, but it stays over the water, stays over the Atlantic. I don't even think it's going to directly impact the Azores Islands. So that's Danielle. Now here's two tropical disturbances. There's one that's got a high chance of formation uh, east of the Lesser Antilles. This one, you know, it's getting some dust, some dry, dusty air off of Africa, this uh, disturbance in the east. So that one is probably just going to fall apart even now. That's changed over the last couple of days. Now these are the GFS and the European model. There they are. Uh, Danielle, they're both in agreement, but this one, this disturbance, they disagree a little bit. The GFS takes it east of Bermuda and strengthens it. The European takes it a little more westerly, keeps it weak. So we'll watch this over the weekend for you. That goes out to Wednesday. We'll watch it and bring you the updates on that through time. All right, so around here, let's enjoy the weekend. We got great weather. We got lots of sunshine, high temps in the 80s. Uh, doesn't get much better than that. Now, Monday, though, we do have a chance for some showers, scattered showers in the afternoon, 81. That could change. The timing could change. But now, Tuesday, Wednesday, a front's going to move in and stall out, and so we've got a higher chance of rain. It's really going to impact the kids going back to school if uh, that holds true.